You filed the T5018 in Accounts Payable. Watch this lesson and we'll show you. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to enter the recipient information on the vendor setup and generate an e-file T5018 returns. Let's go over some basic information about filing your returns. The Contract Payment Reporting System requires construction businesses to record payments made to subcontractors for construction services and report these payments to the Canada Revenue Agency. The information return includes the T5018 summary and the related slips. Both are submitted to the Canada Revenue Agency. They are due six months after your chosen reporting period. You can report payments on a calendar year basis or based on your fiscal year end. Note, once you choose a reporting period, subsequent returns must be filed for the same reporting year, unless otherwise authorized in writing by the CRA. Accounts Payable lets you generate and e-file the T5018 summary and related slips through Atrix. You must be registered with them. You can enroll with the Atrix eFile Center before generating the returns, or you can do so when you eFile with Atrix. Now let's take a look at setting up your vendors so that the correct information is on the slips. On the vendor record, go to the T5018 Settings tab. Make sure you check the box Vendor Receives Form T5018 in order for the system to generate a form and indicate the recipient type, name, and account or social insurance number. Business Name 1 is a required field. If the recipient type is corporation or partnership, the recipient account number appears on the slips. If the recipient type is individual, the social insurance number appears on the slips. If you're not sure what to enter on this tab, make sure to use Help. The payment amount on the T5018 slip is a calculation based on distribution payment records. It takes the amount paid minus the discount taken for each distribution payment record totaled up to the vendor. Now let's see how to generate and e-file the T5018. In Accounts Payable, go to Tasks, Government e-file and reporting, form T5018. This task lets you generate the T5018 summary and related slips on a screen so you can review and edit the information before e-filing returns through Atrix. You cannot use this task to print the T5018 summary and related slips and mail them to the Canada Revenue Agency. In this first window, you enter some preliminary information for the filing. Under T5018 Amounts to Report, select To Vendor or By Fiscal Entity. If your company has several payers filing returns, select By Fiscal Entity and then select the GL prefix filing the returns. Once you select a prefix, the Canadian tax ID and the payer's address is retrieved from the prefix setup in General Ledger and the payment amount for each recipient is accumulated by prefix. If there is only one payer filing returns in your company, select To Vendor. In this case, you enter the Canadian tax ID and the payer's address is retrieved from the company settings window. Enter the start and end dates of the reporting period. In this window, the system displays a list of vendors for whom a T5018 will be generated. You can use the checkboxes to include or exclude one or more vendors. Once your selection is complete, click Next. Now that you've entered the information to get started, we can generate the forms. Click Generate. Verify the payer's account number. This comes from what you entered in the first screen. 
If the account number here is wrong, click Cancel and begin the task again, this time entering the correct tax ID number. Click Next. If you have vendors stored in different data files and you're reporting them under the same payer's tax ID number, you can use the Multiple Data File Merge feature to merge them together so all the information is combined when you're printing or e-filing your returns. Click Next. Verify the payer's address and contact information. Enter any missing information or correct any wrong information as needed. And then click Next. Based on the information stored in the database, the system creates a spreadsheet listing the vendors for which a T5018 will be generated. The vendors are in the rows, and the columns represent boxes on the T5018 slip. You can use the scroll bar to see additional columns. And you can drag any column heading to resize the column to see all the contents. The preparer window is a wizard, and each step prompts you to verify the information that's highlighted in blue. During any step, if the software detects an issue with the information in a column, it alerts you and that cell is highlighted in red. You can then correct it by typing over the wrong or missing information. Note that if you change any information in the preparer window, the new information is used on the T5018 returns, but it does not affect the information that's stored in accounts payable. You can also add or remove vendors from this spreadsheet. For example, you set up one vendor in the database, but it's actually two entities, and you need to send out two separate T5018 slips one for each tax ID number. Right-click in the Number column and click Insert Row to insert a new row where you can enter the recipient's information for the T5018 return. Remove a row by right-clicking in the Number column and select Cut. If this is not a test run, you can save your work and come back to it later. When the information in the spreadsheet is complete, Click Next Step. In this window, you choose how you want to generate the forms and file the returns. For a small fee, Atrix can even print the recipient copies and mail them out for you. If you'd rather print and mail the recipient copies yourself, select Other Options. You can print the T5018 slips for the recipients yourself, and let Atrix e-file the returns with the Canada Revenue Agency. Note, you cannot submit the printed T5018 summary and related slips from this task to the Canada Revenue Agency. Review the list of forms that you're about to generate. You can print this list out for your records. Click Next. Completed forms are presented on your screen. There are four sets of forms, each in a report. And you can use the arrows to move from page to page to review the forms in each report. The first report is your copy of the T5018 slips for record keeping. And you can click Print Copy to print them on blank paper. Your copies print with a record copy watermark. Click Next Step. The next report is the T5018 summary, again for your own records. When you print this, it prints with a record copy watermark. Remember to complete any missing information in the boxes highlighted in red. To see all the information, use the scroll bar to the side. Click Next Step. The next report is the recipient's copy of the T5018 slips. 
This you can print on blank paper and mail the slips to the recipients. Click Next Step when you're done. The last report contains instructions that accompany the T5018 slips for the recipients. You can print one copy of this on blank paper. There are three on a page. And photocopy as many as you need to mail to each recipient with their T5018 slip. Click Next Step when you're done. If you had chosen to let Atrix e-file the returns for you, you can now log on to Atrix to complete the filing. If you did not finish completing the T5018s or printing the forms, you can go back to your work. Go to Tasks, Government e-file and Reporting, Form T5018. Select Saved T5018 Report. If you save the returns for more than one payer, select the payer's tax ID and click Open. Select the returns. You can look at the actions taken so far by clicking View, Print, or you can return to your work by clicking Edit. Now that you've finished watching this lesson, you should be able to enter the T5018 information on the vendor setup and generate and e-file your returns.